everybody. Welcome to my channel, Never Too Late. It's Kim here. I'm here with another Timu haul. I have this smallish, it doesn't feel very full. And then I also have this very big one with a hole. So it came like this with the big hole. So we're going to see. We're going to start with this one. And then I have some other smaller ones down here because you just never know how much is actually in there and how much there is to try on. So we're going to start with these two and then go from there. Okay, before I get started with this one big bag at least, um, if you have not subscribed yet and you enjoy my content, please do. I'm getting so close to a thousand, which is such a milestone that if you subscribe and help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Also, um, if you do enjoy the video, please leave me a like. And I love to hear your comments, so let me know what you think about the haul, what you think about what I'm getting. I will try on everything, um, shoes and clothes, so let me know what you think. If you have any styling ideas or, um, you know, just let me know. I will, as usual, put the links to the orders in my um, description for the video, so you will find any um, anything there. And that will, if you go through the orders, it will show you the size and the price that I paid. And we all know on Tibu prices change, so who knows if it's still the same as I paid or if it's gone up or even down. Um, let's see. Oh, and if you want notification about my videos, you can hit the notifica notification bell. Woo, words, words. Um, so let's get started in this big bag. And while I'm getting it open, I did, I had, um, I've gotten a few um, DMs on my Instagram, which I have linked in a lot of my videos. Um, I've gotten several um, DMs from different people on the Timu marketing team saying that they wanted to collaborate, which I'm guessing means they just want me to join their um, affiliate program, but I'm not sure. I haven't responded yet, but I've gotten... I think maybe two messages from two different people so far. Um, so anyway, what do you guys think? Should I look into this more? Should I, I don't know if they would give me free products, if they would give me, like, let me order things for free, or if it would just mean I would have a code to give you guys, which maybe would give you a percentage off. But sometimes those percentage, those coupons are only good for people who haven't downloaded the app or haven't ordered yet. So I don't know how useful any coupons would be. Um, also, it may give me some advantages if you bought something that I had showed you. It might give me a little bit of money to spend on Timu for other orders, um, which I'm not going to, I'm, it would be nice to get some free products. That's for sure. But I also really need to make sure that I can be completely honest. So I wouldn't do it unless, you know, I can be completely honest about what I think. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. Should I do this? Should I look into it more? Should I not? Good idea, bad idea. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I, I, I mean, I will probably, uh, one of the messages said something about them sending the agreement and agreement and what everything was. I might get that and just read it over. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. So this looks like, this was the thing that was on the top right underneath that big hole, but it doesn't look like the plastic bag was broken at all. So I'm assuming that the sweater inside is okay. I really love these colors, but I have to say, I'm afraid my husband and my daughter are not gonna like it, but I don't think I care. Um, I got a sweater from the thrift store <laughs> I was like, oh, I love it. I tried it on to show them. My husband goes, it looks like poop. <laughs> and my daughter was like, yeah, I hate it, but I was going to be nicer. So it was just this, these different color browns, brown, like dark brown, light brown, white. It was so soft and nice. And I was just like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep it and have every time I wear it. The only thing I'll be able to think about is that my husband thinks I look like poop right now. <laughs> 
I mean, if I would really loved it, I would have, but it wasn't, it wasn't that special. So anyway, this is, kind of reminds me of the colors, but I think because it's stripes rather than just being like modeled, I think um, it'll be better. I got a black one similar to this, a black and white one, and I really love this because it's just a nice kind of lightweight sweater, but it does have a zipper and a hood. And then it also looks like it has little ties so you can gather the hood and make it tight around your face. So I think this would be really nice for those days when it's not freezing cold, but you just wanted a little jacket to throw on over. I really like this. And I just like having some browns. Um, I, I It also has this, it's almost a gray in it as well. Anyway, let me show you up close. It's got a nice little pattern to it. A little, little openings. I don't know. I like it. So we will try that one on, and hopefully my husband will not tell me it looks like poop too. That was so fun. I mean, my husband and I, we, we pretty much tell it like it is. So, like he knows that if he thought it would hurt my feelings, he would never say it looks like poop. And he also knows that if I like it anyway, whether he says it looks like poop or not, I'm going to keep it and wear it. It was just really funny. It was very funny. I This looks like a bag. Okay, this is kind of a cream, kind of an off-white bag. This is a color that is just kind of missing for me. It's very, like, bendable. I kind of like that. It's got gold. Like, the, the hardware here is gold. It does zip on the front. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so it has this turquoise -y, almost, it reminds me of, like, the colors uh, in um, peacock feathers. Um, crossbody strap, adjustable crossbody strap drop it looks like it just hooks on um, and it's just this you know kind of off-white beigey um color it does not look like it has any pockets inside it's just a big old bag but that's fine I, I've been saying during the winter for some reason I just like the big bag so I can throw everything in it you know I don't know very cute. I like that. Okay. Um, let's see. This looks like a t-shirt. I wonder if it's... Oh, I have seen people wearing variations of this shirt. You know, pictures on um, different social media. And basically, the back of the shirt says... And I'm just going to read it, and then I'll show it to you. It says, to the person behind me, you are amazing, beautiful, and enough. Remember that. And then on the front, it says, you matter, with a little smiley face. I just love this. I just, I love this. I love this message that someone's standing behind you in line at anywhere, you know, or walking by you, walking behind you, might see this. And, you know, maybe that's something that that person just really needed to hear. I just think it's just a beautiful thing to have a message that you're wearing around that might encourage another person. I just loved it. I love the idea of it. It fits right in with my sappiness. So there you go. Had to get it. Okay. This is another bag. This is a big black one, which is really nice. The only larger black bag I have is my, my leather coach one, which I love, but you know, I don't want to take it with me a, a lot of places if I'm just going to be like throwing it on the ground or something so this is just a black bag it's got some studs on it small ones and large ones it just has a little personality um it has a little looks like you could use a little wrist strap hand strap um but it also has it does have a shoulder strap it's not gonna really be cross body but a shoulder strap and it does have the um the faux leather where you would put it on your shoulder so you don't have the chain on your shoulder. And I really do, I really do like that. It just clips. Just like the last one, it just clips. Um, let's see. It does have a pocket on the front, which is nice. It's a good like place just to shove my phone so I can grab it really quickly. On the inside, it has a zipper. It's going to be hard to see the black. It has a zipper pocket. And then on the other side, it has a couple of non-zipper pockets if you can see it's really hard to see in the black but there's two yeah two non-zipper pockets in there as well um i love this i'm gonna i tell you i'm gonna be using this all the time i do have another big bag that is black and like some kind of animal print on the bottom but i'm when it's i say big it's huge it's like overnight bag size 
but I carry that all the time, especially if I'm going to the post office and I have packages. Okay, let's keep moving. I don't know what these are. These look like some kind of pants, but they look very... Oh, these I guess are sweatpants. They almost, honestly, on the outside, they almost feel like felt, almost. Let's see. Um, there's a little little piece of lint there. Um, so, yeah, these are just a pair of gray sweatpants. Or maybe they're supposed, you know what I think they are? I think they're supposed to be faux suede pants. That's what it is. They look a little more like felt sweatpants <laughs> than faux suede pants. So we'll try them on and see. They do look comfy and they're soft on the outside and well, they're okay on the inside. But they do have zippers at the um, ankles. So, and then they're just uh, slip on elastic waist. We'll try these on. I gotta say, off the bat, I'm feeling a little skeptical. But, you know, I've been skeptical. Skeptical. I've been skeptical of things before, skeptical of things before, and really love them. So, who knows? Oh, this is another holiday shirt because heaven knows I don't have enough. Um, it is just a big old tie dye sweatshirt with a tie dye Christmas tree. I just love it. It's just fun and different and colorful, and that's just kind of how I feel lately. I feel. I don't know. And it's definitely oversized. I like it. I think it's just a load of fun. Now I will say it's more of a um, polyester feel than a normal sweatshirt feel. So if that is something that, but oh, on the back, it has the tree, but without the decorations. Um, so if the, if the polyester feel is something that bothers you, this might not be the one for you. Um, if I like the design, I'm okay with it. So, so far we have quite a bit. My nose is so itchy today. Quite a bit to try on so far today. Okay, let's see. All right, this is something, and I meant to get these for like all of my coworkers. Why they only let me order one. Uh, maybe it was just one at a time, but it says, we wouldn't be the team that we are without you. So I did get one. But I can't really give it to one coworker without giving it to all of my coworkers. So, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Definitely gonna have to think about what I'm gonna do about that. I didn't really think it through when I just bought one of them. <laughs> Me, not think something through. I know. Who could believe it? It never happens. Okay. Oh, these are just really cute magnets. Um, and I got them kind of the same reason I, I've gotten a lot of the inspirational stickers, but these are just magnets and they just say nice things like today is my day, happiness looks gorgeous on you. Happiness looks gorgeous on you. I feel like happiness looks gorgeous on everyone. I just feel like happiness makes you just, I know for me, I feel like it makes me look younger. It makes me, it just, it just really, I don't know. There's one that says believe, there's yes you can, and I can and I will. Um, let's see what the rest of them say. Life is a series of tiny miracles. Notice them keep going strong is the new pretty why can't you be strong and pretty um it's not an either or you know i am a daydreamer and a night thinker it's interesting and enjoy the little things so i got these kind of for that same purpose as the stickers that i could just give them to people um i also may use these in my um Depop or Poshmark as little extra gifts because they are very cute. I've got a little container to put small things in because I feel like I'm always like dropping things. <laughs> Hopefully I don't drop the whole container. All right, this is a little necklace and earring set, but it is silver with little rhinestones and it is snowflakes. 
And I just think that's so nice for the winter. I love it for the winter. It does have these little extra backs. Oh, I, I missed a couple of the magnets. I'm going to throw those in that little container as well. Um, let's see. Silence isn't empty. It's full of answers. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes when you're just quiet within yourself, that's when, you know, things come to you. Um, live in love. Well, that's just great advice. Okay. So some more of those. I think that's all of them. Okay. Oh, another bag. I went a little crazy, guys. I told my husband, don't give me anything for Christmas or my birthday. I've just gotten myself way too much this year. I don't think he'll listen to me, but maybe he will just get little things. Um, just being able to do this channel and, I mean, all the things that I'm doing this year, I just feel like my, you know, my stocking is full. I just couldn't resist. It's so pink. It's so Barbie. It's just so cute and fun fuzzy. I, it's soft. You just want to stroke it and just like, <laughs> all right. So let's see what it's like on the inside. It is just a bag, no pockets. And this is a little one, but I don't think I'll, I don't know if I'll use it that much in the winter. Honestly, it might be more of a summer thing, but I do, I will say that whatever the is on the bottom is kind of flimsy, but mm, it wasn't expensive, so it's fine. It did come in this little case. I think I will probably keep this one in its little case just because I worry about this getting all kind of matted or, you know, I don't know. I feel like that's the kind of stuff that gets really dirty really easily. Let me put that one over there. All right, we're almost done here. Okay, I promise. I have not, these are socks I ordered. I haven't ordered any new ones, but these are ones I ordered a while ago. And I just thought they were funny. They just have these little faces on them. Um, with the different, the different faces and then the gray ones. So um, I like that they were solid colors and I liked that the little faces were just kind of adorable. So I may, once again, I may use some of these as little extra gifts. Um, or I may just keep them all for myself because I tend to wear socks a lot and I'll take my shoes off and wear them around the house and oh it's just a empty little thing nothing in there that's weird I wonder if something was supposed to be in there and I didn't get part of my order I will have to remember to go back and check that later um especially with this big hole I need to definitely make sure that nothing fell out um, okay so that's all of that there's two more pairs of shoes it looks like Okay, let's see. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Hmm. hmm. Oh, well. I forgot what I was saying completely. All right, these are a little summery, but they were on super sale. And I think I've gotten a couple of price adjustments even since. And I just thought they were so pretty. Just so pretty. And this color is just one of those really basic goes with so much kind of colors that I don't have any shoes. I don't think like this color. So I just think this is just a really nice addition. It's a good heel height. It's a nice chunky heel, very soft, kind of a faux suede. So I always get shoes in size sevens. So I will try these on. I really hope they fit because I do think they're really pretty. I mean, I think once all the price adjustments came through I really think I only I'm putting this in my little small thing so I remember to look it up later I really think I only ended up paying like ten dollars or maybe even less for them um or wait actually I took it back these might be the ones I got price adjustments on or maybe it was both I don't remember I'm confused now I got these espadrilles that are kind of this like light pink color I love espadrilles I guess I don't know is it espadrilles because of the the shape you know the closed in or is it an espadrille because of the heel I always thought it was because of this type of heel with a like so I don't know if it's not an espadrille I'm sorry but this looks this goes let me take this off let's try to cut this off without damaging anything there we go okay so yes this kind of wraps around your ankle 
and then um fastens up there i thought these were super cute too can't wait to try these on either i know it's not the right season but that is okay i will keep them for the summer and be very excited in the summer okay um uh, this was no that wasn't it which one it was this one i remember it, there's something big on the bottom that feels and there's this one too it's like things with holes in it was the theme today i think this one had a little hole as well all right let's see okay this is gonna this is a lot okay this is just a lot more stuff from my resale project i don't know what you want to call it i think i've really been thinking about it lately and i i just really feel like what i really want to get out of this i if i could make some money to help support this channel then that is great and i'm certainly happy about that but honestly, the most important thing for me is just to be able to, one, continue to go thrifting because I enjoy it so much, and two, just really find clothes that are really cute and that I just feel something for, and, you know, find them home so they just don't end up getting thrown away. It's sad to think for me about how much clothing just ends up in the landfill that could have more life. And I once I start going to the bins... I am going to be also looking for things that might be stained, but that I can upcycle. So I'm going to be really looking at fabric and patterns and graphics on t-shirts and sweatshirts and, you know, things that I can do something else with and make something else out of. So I'm going to go through these really, really quickly because I know not everyone loves stickers, but these stickers are, what are these? They're dragons. These are all dragon stickers. I'll show you. Boop, upside down. So I got some dragons just because I'm having so much fun with the little stickers and having a variety of them to put in my packages is just, it's fun for me, honestly. I just have so much fun with this stuff. Okay, these are, I don't know what they are, little fairy woodland creatures, but they're really cute. I'm all about the cute creatures. I love fictional creatures, you know? Just imagine them however you want, and they're so cute. I'm trying to put these back in their bags so they don't end up on the floor scattered, and I'm playing, you know, 50 sticker pickup. Not fun! Okay, um, this is just some velvet trim. Um, and it was something that was just a special one time. It was very inexpensive, and I wanted to just go ahead and get it when it was so cheap and add it into my little um, project bin and I will use that for probably upcycling something at some point. I'm kind of collecting some odds and ends. So next year I'm really going to move into that at some point during the year. So I'm very excited about it. All right, these are some holiday earrings and um, oops, <laughs> the elastic, I mean the stickiness on here was so strong it pulled the thing off. Um, they are dangly little bell earrings, and I used to have a coworker that sat next to me, and she was like, I hate when you wear your belt or where it gets, it drives me crazy, but um, hopefully nobody's sitting near me. I'll ask. I'll ask. Hey, if it bothers you, let me know. I'll take it off, but I bought these to wear because I do have a jingly necklace. I have some bell ones, um, but they're just like single bells, and I love that this was like a bunch of bells together, so very excited to wear these starting at Christmas um and I did someone did suggest in the comments that I wear one of my Christmas holiday outfits every day and try to get through the 25 days of Christmas and um I do have a trip at some point for a few days so I'm not sure I can do all of the days I'm not sure I can do it while I'm on a trip and I think we'll be on four days um but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try I can't promise that I will get the video a video every day I don't want to say I'll do every day and then not do it but I will try to do a um Christmas outfit of the day as many days as I can manage and give you a variety of my Christmas outfits these are all just cute little animals, puppy dogs. There's a little monkey. It looks like a little chimpanzee maybe. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, a little mouse. 
very cute. I love me the cute animals too. I do love some stickers. Obviously. Okay, get in there. And I've been making a lot of faces today. That's maybe that's why I have so many wrinkles is because I make so many faces. Um, I like to include a handwritten thank you note in all of my packages that I send out. So I did buy these. They were very inexpensive and I thought they were really cute. I do right now I'm using, you know how sometimes you'll get the charities will send you things and they'll include the um, cards. I have some with butterflies and polar bears and I just have a ton of those. So I'm using those, um, but I had thought I had found all I had and I only had maybe 10 left. So I wanted to order some more thank you cards. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Dry air. It's going to be all winter. But I actually found a whole nother box of them in my basement. So now I have tons of these. But hopefully I will be doing this for a while and I will get use out of all of them. If not, I will use them for something else. Um, okay, this is another thing I got as a little thank you gift. They're just little note cards with little animals on them. They're very cute. So I just got a whole set of these that I can... It's just something I can throw in as a thank you gift as well. Okay, last thing I promised out of this bag, I think... And these are just a larger size of these cellophane bags. I like to put everything into one of these bags um, and fold them over and seal them. So on the trip, if something, it'll give, you know, there'll be a double layer. If something gets to the first layer, they'll have another layer to make sure that whatever I'm shipping to someone is not going to get ripped or damaged or dirty or anything like that. So I do use these. This is a much bigger size than I have right now because I have been having trouble getting some of the bigger items into these. So I was very excited when I got a deal on the bigger ones. All right, let's do a couple more, I think. This might be a little longer, but you know, you can fast forward. Fast forward, do as much as you want. All right, I had gotten a pair of, I think this might have been the same ones, Flamingo Little Tennis Shoes, and they were too big. So I'm pretty sure these are the same ones in a smaller size. Um, for the summer, once again, but sometimes the best stuff goes on sale in the winter for the summer because it's super cheap um, or super on sale. So, you know, if I see something for the summer, super on sale or at the thrift store, really nice. I'm going to just get it anyway. Okay, next thing are these little earrings. I think they're so cute. I think these would be absolutely adorable with my, with that little pink purse that I got. Okay, oh, let me get them in frame. But they're just little danglies and they have this little like triple heart. I think they're so cute. Once again, I wish I'd had these for the Barbie movie. I would have definitely worn them. All right, here's a sweater that will pair nicely with those pair of pants that I'm not sure exactly what they're supposed to be. I saw this in many different colors. I don't really have a gray sweater. I do. It's just such a nice, solid, nice color and, you know, just a staple color that you can just do so much with. You can do it. I could wear gray with different color pants or skirt and I can, you know, it has the white around the uh, sleeves, around the bottom, and it kind of has this little scalloped edge at the bottom, which I thought was cute. And then it has a little scalloped neckline that I thought was adorable, so it's got a little scalloped V-neck. Um, I, I just thought it was very pretty. And like I said, the gray is just a nice, versatile color, and it's just such a soft gray. I, I think I will get a lot of wear out of it. But I think I have enough sweaters, so um, I might have more in packages that I haven't opened yet. But I'm trying really hard not to buy any more sweaters. Once again, if I find some really cute at the thrift store or the bins, all beds are off. But I think this is a tiny little one. Let's see what this is. And then I'm going to get to... I only have mostly shoes again to try on. I don't have that much to try on. All right. More little things I got. I got some little emery boards. I got these for stocking stuffers and for little gifts um, for my packages. And I got two different. These are just pink and purple. And the other ones are different patterns. This is 100% for me. I love this so much. All right. Look. Let me 
show you one more time. It's so pretty. I love me some unicorns. I really do. All right, more stickers. This is a roll. I'm just gonna show you the size. It is a whole roll of different unicorn stickers. Um, okay. These are just some little like resin flowers that you can use for decorating things. And I just thought the colors were so pretty. Um, more resin flowers, but these are kind of like um, different colors, kind of modeled colors, which I liked. Let's see. Oh, I've got a pair of these earrings in, I think, the black. I think I got them in black. And they have them in other colors. And I just thought they were so, so pretty that I just got a couple pairs. And I want to say they're less than a dollar, which is just crazy. And I also did get them. Oh, these got a little squashed. <laughs> I also did get them um, in... Um, a price re refund, a uh, price adjustment on them. So they ended up being even less. Okay, these are kind of stuck together. So, oh, I think, okay. Yeah, they're okay once, but they were stuck together. They kind of melted together, but they look okay. Let's see. They, I think they still look okay. I'll look at them really good to make sure. But um, these are just sparkly, all different colors. I just think they would be super cute with the right outfit. I need to make sure I don't shove them together though. That didn't work very well. I got these silly little little girl barrettes because I just thought they were cute. But there are just a bunch of them in all different. There's like, well, there's just like a plain purple. There's Daffy Duck. There's a rainbow. Um, some flowers. Some grapes, but just little, oh, some other ones, flowers, there's our mermaid's tail in there. Um, once again, just some little things for me to pick some I might want and then use them as little gifts. I have the most, oh, looks like I got some more of those little notepads. I have the most fun putting together my little packages. I just do. I have so much fun. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here. That just sounds all like mailing supplies, honestly. And this one, I think, might have one piece of clothing. Let's just get through these really fast, and I will... I just was looking for maybe a little bit more clothing to try on. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, these are much bigger than I thought. These are little drawstring bags. Um, and then there's just different colors, rainbow colors. Um, I like sometimes to put jewelry in here. I like to keep little things I'm trying to keep together sometimes in these. And also they're great for putting the little packages in. And, um, you know, I think if I started using this size thank you note, I could fit the thank you note in there along with a couple of, you know, little items. So that's what those are for. Um, I thought that was going to be a piece of clothing, but not so much. All right. More little stickers that say thank you. And I just put these all over the um, little, you know, one on the envelope. And I can put one on uh, a couple on my little bags that I put the things in. More little stickers, but these are like space themed and black background. I got some more little clips and these are just multicolored clips, but star shaped. How fun. Oh, they're a little hard to open. I'm going to have to I have to practice opening them. They're a little hard. Um, just little stars in different colors. I might give a couple of these to my daughter. She loves stars. Um, oh, more stars in different set of colors. Um, I will use some of these little things I've gotten as well for stocking stuffers or little gift bags for my friends and family. I do really love doing that. I love putting together little stockings, little gift bags it is just so much fun all right and i'll put stickers in there too all of my all of my family my friends are going to get little stickers in so this one is just little cats little cats these are little kitty bags to put little things in so cute the good thing about these is these can also be used like if you make christmas cookies or cookies throughout the year and you just want to give some to your friends you can put them in these little cellophane bags 
for your friends. Um, this once again is just something to put in to a gift. Um, it's blank on the back. It says thank you. Sometimes with the shipping with Depop, I have things that have like a half an ounce to spare, so I can't really put much in. So these are really light. So that's what I got these for. Um, more little bags. These with flowers. Oh, okay. This is. This is one of those guns that lets you gun, I say, but in the sense that it's, you use it to put tags on things. And I mean, that's not something I, I used to have one of these. And I'll tell you what it's great for is, I totally lost my train of thought. Anyway, if I'm going to be making things and upcycling things, I kind of just wanted to be able to put my own little tag on it. So that's kind of what I got that with the idea of that. Um, it is, they are really handy though, if you have something that has tags and somehow the tag comes off or you like accidentally cut that tag off when you think you're cutting off the thrift store tag and you can kind of stick it back on. So that's why I think what I was thinking. And more poly mailers. I've just gotten different sizes because it's just different things come in different sizes. So I just want to have, I want to have a mailer that is the size of what I'm sending out and not have to try to make them work or patch them together. I've done that. It's not fun. <laughs> so once again, I lately, the orders I've been getting a lot of things for my little endeavor. Uh, um, like I said, I hope I'm going to be doing it for a while and also some crafting things looking forward. You know, it's kind of like if it pops up in the search and it's, you know, like a pack of stickers that normally are $1.79 or $2 and it pops up and they're 89 cents. That's generally when I grab them. Um, sometimes I just buy them because they're cute and I like them. Um, anyway, I did get a review on Depop where one of the things the person said, they gave me a five-star review, which I love. Um, but one of the things they said was that I included stickers and that was a big, a big thing that made them happy. So Yay. <laughs> I love it too. If I got it, if I got, if I ordered something and it came and it had extra stickers, like I've gotten things from Etsy before and it's had stickers in it. And I, I love that. It makes me happy. It makes me smile. Um, all right, let's get to trying on. We did really good getting through a lot of bags. Hopefully I haven't gone too fast. I'm trying not to like rush through things. Um, but at the same time, I have, I've gotten so many small orders and the bags, the small bags are just really adding up lately. It seems like they've been sending me individual little bags instead of putting it all in a big bag. Um, several orders like together in a big bag. So I'm just uh, trying to get through these things. Anyway, let's get to trying on because that is, after all, the funnest part. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. Okay, here's the sweater. into my stool <laughs> here's the sweater I think it's a really good link you know what let me bring this camera down a little bit because I think there we go that's better um it's a really good length I think for jeans not for these pants <laughs> but for jeans I think it's a really good length the sleeves actually aren't too long on me. I like it. I like the neck. Um, it's very simple, but I think really you could dress it up by putting it with something more colorful and with jewelry. I just think it's a very feminine, um, you know, a little bit, it's just a very feminine kind of classic type sweater for me. I really like it. I do. Let me show you the pants and the shoes. Um, these pants definitely like them better on than I did not on. They are, a that I did just looking at them out of the bag. They are, I mean, they're not tight to the point where they're uncomfortable, but they're not loose. Let's put it that way. They're definitely leggings that I would wear under something bigger, a longer shirt. But I think as leggings, especially with the little zipper detail on the side, and I don't have any gray leggings to put under things like this. So I think these could be very cute. All right, let me show you. 
Let's, all right, I'm gonna have to get up. I'm gonna have to climb the stool. Oh, hold on. The stool was not level, not good. Okay, here is the whole thing. As you can tell, I mean, I guess I could wear these. I'm just really not comfortable with wearing things that are kind of this tight without, you know, being a little more covered up. So these would really, for me, be more leggings, but I do like them. I think they look a lot nicer on than I thought they looked in the bag. And they are very soft, very soft. Um, the shoes. Very cute show you the oh I keep showing <laughs> the inside let me show you the outside there we go that's what I was trying to do I think the shoes are super cute let me take one off so I can show it to you up close again and I will show you something that I realized when I put them on whoop okay the strap which what you do is you put it on and then you know you put your foot in here and then you put this here but it's velcro so you don't actually have to buckle it or unbuckle it it's just a velcro strap which i actually like just so much easier to take on and off but once again very pretty i really really like these i think all of this is a keep for me yay all right be right back okay first off I tried these on and this part right here, this um, first strap here is very tight. And um, yeah, my foot, I could get them on, but it was painful. So these are going to have to go back. Unfortunately, they are just made for skinnier feet than mine <laughs> or thinner. I don't know. I do have kind of white feet. All right. This is the sweater. It does have these little V's on the side, um, which I don't mind, but yeah, it is the zip up and then the hood. And like I said, if you wanted to, I'm trying to find the other string and not my hair. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could, you know, tighten that up and make yourself really warm. Um, ah, now my hair's going to be all stunky, but anyway, I do like this. I think it's cute. I like the colors. Let me show you the flamingo shoes. There we go. Here are the flamingo shoes. They fit this time. I do like them. Let me show you them up close again. I do like them. They have um, this white sole. They're just slip-ons. I'll probably put not a lot of cushion, a little bit, so I'll probably put another insole in there. Um, I just think for the summer they're going to be adorable. I will. I love slip-on tennis shoes in the summer, and some of the ones I have are starting to really show their age, even if their age is only a couple years. But when you wear something a lot, they tend to wear out faster, and I do wear little tennis shoes so much in the summer. They're kind of my little go-to shoe. All right. Oh, the t-shirt. I forgot I put the t-shirt on underneath the sweater. Let me get the sweater off. Here's the little t-shirt. I just throw this into my washing machine pile. I just love the idea of this so much. Here's the front and then here is the back. I just love it. I just love the idea that you don't even have to say anything and maybe you make someone's day a little bit brighter. I'm all about that. If you've watched my channel, you know, one of the things I try to live by is I want to leave everyone I interact with at least the same, if not better than they were before. I want to leave them in a better mood. I want to make their day better. I want to make their day happier. I don't ever want to be the person that makes someone's day worse. And I know that things happen and sometimes you can do, you can do that without even realizing you're doing it, you know? But I try to make a concerted effort to make my interactions with other people, friends, coworkers, strangers, as pleasant as possible. And, um, you know, just try to leave people a 
little happier or feeling, you know, at least as good, if not better than when our interaction started. So it's sappy, it's silly, but it's who I am. Sappy. I One of these days there is going to be a t-shirt. Um, okay. I think all I have left is the Christmas tree sweatshirt. I will be right back. All right. Last one. I like it. It's just, it's fun. It's different. I just feel like I've always kind of gravitated, gravitated towards the more traditional things, you know, the more traditional patterns, colors. And I just love that this year I'm kind of stepping a little bit out of that and just kind of adding some color, some fun, a little bit of difference in it just... I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. So I just, I love this. And like I said, if you're not really crazy about the slate polyester feel, then you're probably not going to like this one. It's, it is soft. I have no problem with it. It's very soft. It's not, it's not the kind that gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's very soft, but it doesn't feel like a traditional sweatshirt. And I know for some people that is probably something they'd want to know ahead of time before they bought something. So sometimes you can't tell in the pictures. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. Anyway. All right. Well, that's the haul. I think it was pretty good. Um, they a little longer than I like, but once again, I tried to cram too much in. I never stop when I'm ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dry air just kills me. My hair gets staticky. I cough and like lose my voice from the dry air and my skin gets so dry that I look like a crocodile. <laughs> dry air is not my friend. <laughs> so I have to drink lots of water, <laughs> use lots of lotion and try not to touch my hair, which I do all the time. So put my hair back when it's all staticky. What can you do? You make the best and you live with things as best you can. You don't let them get to you, right? Because that's, I think what I've learned is the key to happiness is a lot more in my control than I ever thought it was. And how I react to things, how I choose to perceive things, how I let things affect me just makes all the difference in whether I'm happy or not, whether I have a good day or not. So yeah, I think I went through way too many years not realizing that I had way more control over how I feel than I ever thought I did. But now I know. <laughs> and I make an effort to just find a way to be happy because it feels so much better. I like it. I like being happy. Anyway, remember that it is never too late. It's never too late to try new things. Usually something pops into my head about what never to be late. And today, it's nothing. I got nothing. But it is never too late. It's never too late to run out of things to say. <laughs> Who would have ever thought I would run out of something to say? No. It's never too late to try new things. I'll just go with the, 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 the standard. It's never too late to try new things because that is so true. Step out of your comfort zone because you know what? I have stepped so far out of my comfort zone in the past year and just it's been amazing it's been amazing and I continue to do that just step a little bit and I've said this before I'll say it again because I think it's important you don't have to take a giant leap out of your comfort zone you can just stick the tip of your toe out of your comfort zone to start with everything and that's another thing that I've learned is that a lot of times when you look at things, they seem so big or overwhelming or unsurmountable. But most of the time, the vast majority of the time for me, that big can be broken down into smaller bits. And those smaller bits are doable and they don't feel so scary or so overwhelming. So it's kind of like that with stepping out of your comfort zone too, you know? You don't have to tackle it all at once. You can just do something small. 
whatever that might be. I mean, you know, maybe you've been thinking, man, I, I know there's a walking club, but I've just never found out about it. But I think I'd really enjoy, you know, having a group of people to walk with. Well, you know, the first step, maybe that first step is just getting more information, finding out when they meet, where they meet, seeing if it would fit into your schedule. So, you know, you can, you can just break it down into little pieces. So just start with that first little step and then see how you feel. Are you still excited about it? Are you more excited about it? I mean, I find a lot of times I get more excited about things until it gets really close and then I get nervous and I kind of go, oh, well, you know, if it doesn't work out, it's fine. Yeah, maybe I just won't go. And I have to kind of remind myself, you're just feeling nervous. You're feeling uncertain. Go. You have to do it. For me, anyway, I tell myself, you have to do, you've, you've already taken the time to figure this out, to find out when, to say you're coming, to whatever, to buy the tickets, whatever it might be, sign up for the class, whatever it might be, go, try it, and then decide. Don't decide before you've even gone there. Don't let fear, don't let uncertainty, don't let your own creepy little, creeping little, I don't mean creepy, I mean creeping little thoughts of self-doubt keep you from something that might end up being amazing. That is what I try to do now is I try and I said it to, you know, my kids too sometimes. It's like, you know, you, if something made you excited and then you get less excited the closer it gets, that's not that you're not still excited about it. That's that you're nervous about it. You're afraid about it. There's something about it that is making you uncomfortable. It's probably is a little bit outside of your comfort zone and your comfort zone is going, nah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Just stay right in there. You don't need to do that. You don't need to step out. Just stay right here. But sometimes you just got to like shove your foot right out and go for it anyway. And so that's what I try to tell myself. You have to give it a try. If you were excited about it and you took the time to find out about it or learn about it or sign up for it or whatever, then you need to go and you need to give it a try. If you go and you don't like it, then that's fine. Don't do it anymore. But most of the time I do, most of the time I enjoy things so much and I'm so grateful that I didn't let that self-doubt, that fear, that whatever you want to call it, whatever it is for you, um, that I didn't let that win. And it's not about winning or losing, but I do think about that sometimes. I do kind of think of it that way sometimes is that I'm beating it. I am conquering that. I am not letting it hold me back. So I'm, I'm winning. I'm beating it. Um. I don't know why. Maybe it makes me get that little competitive spirit and helps me push past it. I don't know. Anyway, this is way too long. I've been talking too much as usual. See, that's what happens. I have nothing to say. I, I can't think of anything to say. And then once I get started, I can't stop. I am a talker. I'm a talker. It's okay. That's why I have all of you wonderful people to talk to. And I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you have made it all the way to the end, you are a trooper. And I appreciate you so much. And as always, you know, fast forward however much you want through my videos. You know, if you're like, okay, I'm bored with this. Fast forward. I does not, doesn't upset me, doesn't offend me. You watch this video in five minutes if that's how it works for you. I just appreciate that you clicked on it at all. All right. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I let my dogs outside because it was warmer and sunny today and I wanted to give them a little outside time, but it's still chilly. So don't want to leave them out there too long. So I am going to go let my puppies in my little puppy sickles. No, it's not that cold. <laughs> I would not let them outside if they were going to be puppy sickles. Um, but I'm going to let them back inside so that they, um, probably turn on the fireplace and let them sit by the fire and get all warmed up. Anyway, um, they do love to be outside and they get so unhappy when they don't get to go outside for too many days in a row. So it was a little warmer and sunny today. So like, here's your chance, boys. Anyway, I'm going to go let them in. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.